Hello, racehorse owners and trainers. This is Gloria Hester, and this audio is a short piece about how to enhance your horse's potential through movement and neuroscience. There have been a lot of strides that have been gained over the last decade regarding the understanding of how the brain and the body communicate, and this is applicable to any vertebrate animal. But today, specifically, we're actually going to be talking about racehorses. Your horses actually can have a faster finish and they can have a longer career if they have some education between, some re-education between their brain and their body. So their movement potential can actually be developed through something that is known as somatic movement education. My background is in therapeutic yoga and I have grown up with horses. My mother was a trainer, my great grandmother rode. You could say that horses are in my blood. So I'm very happy to be bridging this gap between neuroscience and the horse world. I've always ridden for pleasure and I work with off the track thoroughbreds, on the track thoroughbreds, all different breeds, all different disciplines across the world at this point. And so that's a little bit of background on me and why you might want to listen to me. My background is not only in neuroscience but in therapeutic yoga and how neuroscience specifically is applied to vertebrate animals. So today let's go ahead and get started on how this applies to you and your horses. So if you own a racehorse, as you know, you are a steward of a professional athlete. As a racehorse owner or as a trainer, you have a lot at stake. The stakes of your world are very high. I'm very aware of that. I know that your investment is something that you need to protect. And in my experience, one of the best ways that you can help to protect your investments is through somatic education for your horse. And I can explain to you why that is in a minute so that you can start to learn about a field that is not commonly known. Aiden O'Brien actually does use somatic education for his horses. He has for several years now. So I know most of you probably know who he is. So, but let's talk about what somatic education is for your horse. It will enhance your horse's full potential as an athlete and does increase the longevity of his career for the fact that we are literally helping your horse to develop their full potential through your horse's sensory motor relearning. So it's a little bit like sending your horse for higher education about very functional motor plans. All of us, our brains are pattern generators. So somatic education is teaching your horse how to self-adjust and how to self-correct for any faulty movement pattern that may have become stored in his or her nervous system up to this point. Most often the cause of a faulty movement pattern is an injury and that will create some lack of mobility and that lack of mobility will result in less than optimal performance because the brain is organizing the movement about every stride that your horse takes, every time the horse lands, every time the horse pushes off. If the horse is somatically integrated, then the potential is really incredible. It's in fact unlimited the more neuronal connections that are made within your horse's brain. So once a horse is somatically integrated, they are more capable of developing those sophisticated motor plans. And this is a form of awareness and a movement education that's literally changing your horse's brain. It's teaching them patterns of movement that will enable your horse to release their own involuntarily, chronically contracted muscles. Somatic education is a sensory motor relearning for your horse's brain, for your horse's body. The program involves helping your horse through his own controlled voluntary movement and his sensory awareness to develop these optimal motor plans for every action that's being asked of him or her. So this work is actually a partnership between your horse and your horse's educator, somatic educator in this situation. So when these new neuronal connections that are enabling your horse to develop their full potential as racehorses and to maintain and regain that full potential for as long as possible. So a horse of any age or any condition will be served by this 
training, if you will. Let's talk about again about how our brains are pattern generators. Great athletes have developed patterns of movement that serve to execute the superior function that's being asked of them. So a great athlete has actually habituated a perfect pattern and the brain generates the pattern. And this pattern gets stored in the lower brain centers, which means it's stored in the unconscious. Sometimes patterns can become faulty and they will inhibit the movement and they're no longer serving your horse at that point. In fact, they are limiting your horse. And these often will eventually result in an injury due to the fact that they've pulled the horse out of proper alignment. So these faulty patterns are pulling the horse out of alignment. And in fact, they not only inhibit the horse, but they're also slowing your horse down because certain muscle groups are developing a sort of amnesia and they're limiting your horse's full potential. So an example of this would be when a horse develops problems with his hocks. And oftentimes the muscles in the hips and the hind end have become so habitually contracted that they're pulling at the attachment site and they're stressing the hock joint itself. Sensory motor re-education can literally return horses through their own learning process back to an even better than before their original patterning. So developing new neuronal connections and motor plans in the frontal cortex enables your horse to make a split-second decision and to execute those movements with ease. These horses are now far beyond in intelligence, outweighing their competitors, as they have more natural ability to access and connect to their natural resources. The natural God-given ability to run and be born as a racehorse can actually be developed more and heightened through somatic education. And that is for the fact that movement is learning and learning is movement. We cannot separate the two. Re-education for the professional athlete at this point is imperative. Like any great athlete, we would want to utilize everything that's at our disposal to develop our full potential. And of course, at this point, horses only have access to somatic education through their stewards, their trainers, and their owners. So let's go back to your horse's body. A horse that's tighter in his muscles has less endurance and is slower. Any muscles that are holding tightly in the body prevent efficient movement patterns. So massage will relax your horse's muscles for up to at most about five days. It is not creating a change in the brain. It is, cre it is a spinal cord event. Somatic education is a low brain event. It is not a spinal cord event. So it's relearning that your horse will continue to do his own work and continue to self-correct and re-educate once he learns the work. So there's uh, one of the main differences between somatic education and massage. So the brain, it is the brain that's unconsciously creating the tight muscles. Somatic movement education is teaching the brain to stop telling the muscles to habitually contract and hold tight. Tight muscles have fibers that are bunched and they're shortened. These bundles of muscle fibers place strain on the joints and they prohibit the connective tissues from moving smoothly. They're requiring more energy to move the body and they're changing the way the horse's functional anatomy relates to gravity and to force. Somatic education enables repatterning. It returns the horse to their greatest, most efficient anatomical functioning. So you're rolling back the clock to when he was new and moved with freedom. When somatically integrated, a horse is working most efficiently with gravity and is capable of differentiating movement that is related to efficient whole body patterns. Once these are in place, movement is smooth and it's efficient again. Learning from a somatic perspective is not only preventative for injuries, it also means rapid recovery as the horse now has a good understanding of how to self-correct on his or her own. Once somatically educated, a horse has the ability to easily access any forgotten movement patterns that were previously accessible to him. What this means is that a horse now has full voluntary control of his or her body again. With more motor units activated in the areas that are needed, 
to enable the horse to execute the performance that's being required of him or her as an athlete. It also means that he's capable of receiving more feedback about his positioning and the use of his body through his sensory system. And therefore, any muscles that were held short and were limiting freedom of movement have been released. All of this is resulting in a more proficient athlete. And so it's my pleasure to share this with you today. If you have questions, if you want to inquire more about this work and how it might apply to your horse, particularly horses with injuries that do have potential but their injuries are limiting with them, please reach out to me today. You can email me at info at gloriahester.com and I will have someone reply to you as soon as possible. Again, it's info at gloriahester.com and this material is copyrighted by Gloria Hester and all rights are reserved on this material. So find a way to introduce somatic education for your horse in the future, your competitive livelihood as a trainer and an owner will depend on it. And it is a better life for your horses. It is a better life for the racing industry. And I'm so happy to bring this to you and serve you in this way. I have a deep love for horses and a deep respect for all of those who are working in the horse industry. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you so much.